Both the batsmen have so far shown good understanding and the running between the wickets has been comfortable. That's good to see. When you have a new opening combination out there in the form of Rishab being promoted up the batting order. That's a cheeky finger. That could have been tight if the fielder Jayahuja had collected the ball. Five runs on the board so far of the five deliveries in the very first over. Karimabad Sports Club having no hesitation to bat first on winning the toss here. That's a loud appeal. But umpire Santosh Kovikar is not impressed. That's the end of the first over. Karimabad Sports Club are five for no loss. Harshad Garekar will take up the bowling attack from the Mandavi River End. Rishab Chaudhary Batting on one, I'm batting on three is on strike. That could have been really tight if Vikas Singh had managed to score a direct hit. The throw is off the target. And Karimabad Sports Club move on to six.
Nice shot there by Radshaker, up and over the point finger. Two runs to the total. Both teams today are unchanged from their winning performances in the semi-finals. Rishabh Chaubeda wanted to drive but it was beyond his reach. But not wide enough to be declared a wide. Of the four deliveries so far of Harshad Sova. This time Harshad wanted to play an expansive drive, but he was totally beaten there by the movement of the delivery. Harshad Kareka, a very experienced Ranji Trophy pacer from Goa. Is putting all his experience into play. Apishli driven and that could have been the first wicket down but the chance goes begging. And two runs to Rishab as well. Ashad is disappointed. That's that's a drop chance that should have been taken. It was Azim Kazi. Who could not complete that catch. And looks like he has suffered a bit of a niggle to his finger. It was not powerfully struck the drive by Rishabh in the Kawas region. And there was the first opportunity going down in the field. Karimabad Sports Club. Our 11 for no loss after two years. Vivian Hingonaker will continue from the road end. This will be the third over of the final here at the picturesque Panjim Jimkana ground by the Mandavi River. Looks a beautiful picture on the monitors now. Divyang, Divyang Hingonaker is in the second position on the 
विकेट्स ली रबोर्ड वॉज अनदर अपॉर्चुनिटी एंड कीन एंड वॉज सेफ पैर ऑफ हैंड्स बिहाइंड द विकेट थिंग्स दैट कैच दिव्यांग विंगर एक gets a wicket he moves on to seven wickets for the tournament and is now in the joint first position along with Sailongar Samita and Mishra with seven wickets the first wicket goes down for Karimabad Sports Club in this final Rishabh Chobe out after scoring six runs Twelve for one, Karimabad Sports Club. This is the third over in progress. Kashyap Buckley is the new batter coming to place Rishabh Chobe and Kashyap is at the non-striker's end. Karimabad had rejigged their opening combination today. Sending Rishabh Chobe to open. Whereas in their earlier matches in this tournament, Azan Tota had opened the innings along with Raj Shekhar Harikant. The experiment today hasn't worked out and there they are at 12 for 1 in the third over. A single there to take the total on to 13 and that also brings Kasha Buckley on strike for the first time. Dampu had a slip in place for the first two years and had done away with it but now it looks like Captain Snail Kautankar is moving into the slip position. Yes and that's a right strategy considering that Kasha Buckley is a new batter in and facing his first delivery to the young Hingernaker who gets a lot of movement off the pitch as well. Kashyap gets off the mark. And 
that's also the end of the third over the score moves on to 14 for one that was good running in the end Raj Shaker Arikan puts in the dive and gets home in the nick of the time while the throw misses the stumps narrowly in general the running between the wicket has been good good effort there by the batters to make the ground this is the all important final of the Bamorka T20 league and the teams will leave no stone unturned to put in their best effort to win this prestigious title Arshad Garekar, the experienced pacer, is focusing on his line and length there. You can see Kashyap Bakla is on strike. That's a good shot by Kashyap. Just a single for that. The ball appeared to keep a bit low, lower than what he might have expected, but he still got low down to play that pull shot. Kashyap gets a single. That is a real peach of a delivery by Arshad. Raj Shikhar Harikant was beaten hands down here. He was opened up and that's the quality of that Harshad Karekar delivery. Dampo bowlers have kept it really tight here and Karimabad Sports Club have not been able to hit a single boundary so far in the power play that is going on runs have just come in the form of ones and twos 
Karimabad Sports Club are not really opening up here, not taking any risk so far. And Dempo will be happy with how the proceedings are taking shape here in the final. Kashyap Bell getting out of the crease and trying to flat bat it. Playing that horizontal shot but just a single to end the over number four. Karimabad Sports Club are 17 for one. First change in the bowling attack now, Jagdish Patil coming on to bowl from the road end. Karimabad Sports Club in need of some tonic or injection of urgency here and that could be a couple of runs there but yes, in the end, the batters get the second after the fumble there in the field. But first four years, there was no relenting the pressure as both the Dempo pace bowlers bowled very good line in length. Karimabad will be looking now to get more from the remaining two power players if they can. But Chagdish Patil also has the quality and it will be interesting tussle to look forward to. Kashyap Buckley batting on three of seven deliveries. Ras Shekhar Ali Khant at the non-striker's end is on eight of eleven. Kashyap Buckley has hit that for a six uh, what a shot by the Karimabad Sports Club number three. Jagdish Patil bowled that short pitch delivery on the off stamp and Kashyap Buckley was ready to swing his bat and time it to perfection along with that power in that shot. Six runs to Kashyap and Karimabad. They move on to 23. The fifth over is in progress here. Kashyap goes 
to nine of eight deliveries. That sixer will give a lot of confidence to Kashyap Buckley, who had scored a wonderful half century in the league stage in the match against Alcon MCC. That was a chance going down. It looked as if it was a low catch. A replace will tell you, yes, the ball. Yes, in fact, it was a chance and Jayahuja not able to latch on to it. Another opportunity goes a bagging in the field. Kashyap Buckley dropped on nine. He moves on to 10 now, Raj Shekhar is on strike. This time there is no mistake in the field by Captain Snail Gordon. Raj Shekhar, Alkant is caught trying to force the pace here. Jagdish Patil gets the wicket. Raj Shekhar could not make a good connection as he was trying to play that pull and only manages to flat bat the ball to short mid wicket fielder Snail Kautankar. 24 for 2. Karimabad Sports Club after electing to bat first in the final against Tempo Cricket Club. Four point five overs done. The last delivery of this over now coming up. Jagdish Patil has considered seven runs so far in this over. Tunish Saukar is the new man in. He will be facing Chabdish Patil in the final over, final ball of this over. Watchfully played, and that brings the fifth over to an end. 24 for two.
Arshad Gadekar will continue. This will be his third over on the trot from the river end and also the final over of the power play stage. Nicely hit there, nice square cut by Kashyap Buckley, but the fielder there at point got his hand to it and took the sting off it and just a single in the end to Kashyap. This batting pair had put on a classic nearly 100 run partnership in the league phase in that Thrilling match against Alcon MCC. So Karim Abad Sports Club will be hoping that this two can repeat that magic with the bat. Tunish now on strike to Harshad is yet to open his account. Of whatever I've seen of Tunish, he doesn't mind having a good look at the deliveries, play, plays watchfully to start with. And when he is well set, he plays really big, powerful shots. Superb delivery there by Arshad Garekar. Gets the outside edge of Tunish's bat and four runs to Tunish and Karimabad. A streaky boundary there, but he wouldn't mind that as the ball landed short of the wicket keeper Keenan Vaz. Karimabad Sports Club won to 29 for two. Just the second boundary or second shot, big shot for Karimabad in this match so far. The first was a big sixer for Kashyap Buckley in the last over. This time a short delivery there and Kashyap Buckley takes full advantage of that playing the pull shot for four runs. Thirty-four for two at the end of six overs, Karimabad Sports Club. After having elected to back first. Kashyap Buckley is on 15, Tunish Saukar is on 5. Arshad Gadekar went for 10 runs in that last over. So 
So of his three overs, Arshad has considered 19 runs. That was also the most expensive over of the Empire innings so far. Azim Kazi has been welcomed. Oh, what a wonderful stop there by the fielder. And it's two runs to Tunisia and Karim Abad of the first delivery by the left arm orthodox spinner Azim Kazi. A quality drive there by Tunish Saugar. This will be a very, very important phase of the match here. Two young batters of Goa out there. Nice use of the feet there, but uh, Kashyap has only hold out to Vikas Singh in the long off region. That's the third wicket going down for Karimabad Sports Club. Tunish had good use of the feet, but uh, he didn't manage to get that elevation. And Vikas Singh, in the long on region, takes an easy catch. Kashyap Buckley got Vikas Singh ball as Imkazi 15. The wickets are going down regularly here for Karimabad Sports Club. The inning is yet to get any kind of momentum in the final and Tempo Cricket Club will be happy with how the final is shaping up 37 for 3 Karimabad Sports Club and it's Azan Tota who comes out at number 5. He had played the opening role in the earlier games. Today he has a different role to play coming in at number 5. Tunish Saukar is at the non-strikers end batting on 8. So the consolidation of the innings should be at the top of the mind here of the batters. It's only 6.3 overs so far and Karimabad have lost their top three. Asim Kazi striking in his very first over. So it's a left and a right hander combination out there for Karimabad. Now Azan Tota. A very compact left-handed batter now taking strike to Azim Kasi. Azan is off the mark straight away. He has been impressive in the Goa Premier League as well, which preceded the Bandarkar T20 League, but he is yet to make it count in this T20 format. Can it be his day today? We will wait and watch. In the meanwhile, Tunish Saukar is ready to face Azim Kazi. Mm. 
generally with three wickets down so early the team resorts the teams resort to low risk cricket trying to get maximum with minimum risk and that's probably going to be the game plan from here as recovery becomes the key in T20 format if you lose early wickets that was also the kind of situation that Dempo Cricket Club found themselves in yesterday in the semi-finals and what a marvelous job they did to come out of the hole that they were they were in right from the first over then they launched that heroic counter attack and got up to a total of 167 it was one of the most dramatic T20 matches seen in Goan cricket circuit for sure this is the top division here with cream of Goa cricket and also some outstation players as well so it was a game where the pendulum was swinging and Dampo Cricket Club's fortunes were varying, but they made it happen. They ground it out through a very difficult phase after electing the bat first. So Karim Abad can take a lot of inspiration from that and this is much better situation than they ha than Dampo. And it's the all important final, so there will be pressure. Hopefully, the team can put on a good show here. Both teams can put on a good show here. Malik Shiru is the new bowler coming on to bowl from the Mandavi River End. That was a full-blooded drive by Azan Tota. Probably it carried all the way to the bowler, but it was a very, very difficult chance. And looks like Malik Shiru has suffered an injury in the process. Meanwhile, single came off the shot. Karim Abad move on to 
So Malik Shiru has left the field and Jaya Huja will complete that over. Two balls to go. Tunish Saukar moves into double digits. That's the end of the eighth over. It's 43 for three. Karim Abad are moving at a current run rate of 5.38. Azim Kazi will continue from the road and he has bowled one over so far, picking up a wicket, considering five runs. He, he has one of he has been one of the best for Dempo in this tournament so far, the outstation player from Maharashtra. And Tota goes big and what a shot. That's a huge hit. Six runs to Azan and Karimabad. Lovely use of the feet there by Azan. Coming to the pitch of the delivery and pulling the ball over the mid wicket fence for a lovely sixer. That's the potential that this young man has. And with that single, the 50 is up for Karimabad Sports Club. This is the ninth over in progress. 50 for 3 now. 8.3 overs gone. Azam Tota gets into the double digits as well. So both batters here getting a start. Tunish is batting now on 11 on strike. runs of this over so far two deliveries still to go of this Azim Kazi over
This time Azan Tota goes straight and well, 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 he has found the man. Vika Singh there again in action, safe pair of hands. Azan Tota departs for 10. He hit that well, well, but failed to find the gap as well as get the elevation to beat the man on the boundary. Fourth wicket going down for Karimabad Sports Club. 51 for 4 in the ninth over now. So the captain of Karimabad, Deepraj Gaukar, now coming out to bat. Four wickets down, his team in need of a impactful inning by Deepraj. Tunish Saukar is batting on 12. We all know the potential that Deepraj has. He has been the player of the series in the recently concluded Goa Premier League three days tournament. But he has yet to make an impression in the T20 format, Banurka T20 League. And it could be the final for the man to rise to the occasion. He's set to face his first delivery, Asim Kazi, to the And straight away, the skipper is off the mark. And that also brings the ninth over to an end. It's 52 for 4. Karimabad Sports Club struggling here after electing to bat first. 11 overs remaining to change the complexion of this innings though. And for that, the batters have to come out with the top drawer performance. Dampo Cricket Club did that yesterday in the semi-finals. Karimabad Sports Club also put out a fighting performance against Sairankar Cricket Club in the semi-finals. Now this is the title clash and it deserves a very very high level of performance in this prestigious competition here at the historic Bandorka grounds at Panjim Jimkhana. Vikas Singh now coming on to bowl from the Mandavi River end. And a wonderful drive there by Deepraj Gankar just a single that's good to see the shot hit all along the ground Well, 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 Tunish Saugar is cleaned up here. Vikas Singh has penetrated the, the defences. Rather, Tunish Saugar has missed the line of the ball trying to play that sweep and is out for 12. 
And half the side of Karimabad Sports Club now back in the pavilion. The Empo Cricket Club have taken a commanding grip over this final now. He completely missed the delivery, wanted to take it over the mid wicket region, but Vikas Singh needs the ball to turn enough to disturb the furniture. 53 for 5. This is the 10th over in progress. Soam Panvilkar is out there now taking guard here at the fall of Tunis Saukar's wicket. Three deliveries to go in this 10th over. Vikas Singh having tasted blood here. He will be on top. The experienced spinner a very tight single and so on is on this way now good run there Dipraj Gankar is known for his athleticism and he was quick to make it to the danger end Four runs came off that over and also the wicket of Tunish Saukar. So at the halfway stage of this inning, Karimabad Sports Club are 56 for 5. Jagdish Patil is coming on from the road end. Azim Kazi had bowled a couple of overs from this end earlier. And now there's a change in bowling. The pace of Jagdish Patil will bowl to Soham Panvalkar, left handed wicketkeeper batsman.
So, man, Deep Raj had put on an important partnership in yesterday's semi-finals. It was a similar situation in the semis yesterday against Sai Ronkar. This two put on 46 runs for the fifth wicket. Soham scoring 40 of 31 balls with three boundaries and a sixer. And Dipraj Gankar had scored 22 runs with one sixer in his inning. So they'll have to come up with similar partnership as Karima Bad Sports Club requires some rebuilding here. They're struggling with 56 runs on the board and half the side back in the pavilion. This is just the 11th over of the final of Pandorka T20 League. What a stunning catch there. Vikas Singh seems to be everywhere in the field right now. Swam Banwilgar striking that ball and Vikas Singh gets his safe pair of hands underneath the ball to send Soham back. That was struck lovely and the mid -off fielder diving to his left and taking that super catch. Karimabad Sports Club now lose their sixth wicket and it's only 56 runs on the board. 11th over is in progress. Jagdish Patil gets his second wicket of the match. And Dishab Singh Chauhan is the new batter who has run onto the field with a lot of energy. Karimabad will hope that he can transform that energy into some runs and partnership as the captain Deepraj Gaukar is there at the other end. Well, 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 all the good big shots that Karima Badr tried to play and Dampu have been good in the field to catch them. Rather, Vikas Singh taking his third catch of the match.
That's a good forward defensive shot by RSC. It's a wicket maiden for Jagdish Patil. That's a rare in T20 format and that's what Jagdish Patil has produced here, a wicket maiden. So at the end of 11 overs, Karima Bad Sports Club are tottering at 56 for the loss of 6 wickets. Vikas Singh is the man of the moment right now with all his catching and now he has the ball in his hand to bowl the second over from the Mandavi River end. What a shot there by Deepraj Kaukar. There you see. That's his mentality regardless of the fall of wickets. He will play shots and put the loose balls away. That was a full delivery and good use of the feet by Deepraj Kaukar to loft the ball over the Covers boundary for a sixer, 62 for six now, Karimabad. Deepraj is on With that, Singer will move into double digits. He will need support at the other end. The fall of wickets has to stop. If Kalimabad Sports Club have to put a decent total on the board here. Vikas Singh got the wicket of Tunish Saukar in his previous over. That's a good stop off his own bowling by Vikas. He looks to be a complete package, good in the field, good with the ball and he has the batting ability as well. A good all-rounder there for Dempo. That's the end of the 12th over. The score is 63 for 6. Karimabad Sports Club had won the toss and elected to bat first. Forty eight deliveries remaining. Sixty three is now the total. If they get run a ball, they'll go up to hundred and eleven from here. What a shot once again. Deepraj Kaukar. ever ready to get the big shots out that is his natural game he likes to strike the ball and that's very important for Karimabad now to get plenty of runs when they can the total moves on to 67 for 6 
Jagdish Patil had bowled a maiden wicket over previously. This is his third over and concedes a boundary on the very first delivery of this over. Karimabad needs some good overs to get their innings rebuilding process to start. This time he flicks that ball with plenty of power. This is looking like a very impressive counter attack by the captain Deepraj. What a shot. Shuffled across the stumps and gets the timing and power. Good combination going and gets four runs for that. He moves on to 18 of eight deliveries. Karimabad Sports Club up to 71. The scoring has been all right, but the loss of wickets has hurt them. Lost way too many wickets early in the innings. Deepraj has been in very good touch in his uh, in the la uh, recently concluded Goa Premier League, wherein he scored a fantastic big hundred, 178 runs in over a runner ball fashion. He has a high percentage of boundaries in his innings, which is his natural ability. And today he has been striking really well now in his early innings early days so far in his innings and and Karimabad sports club fans will be wishing that he makes a very big contribution here Seventy-five for six, Karimabad Sports Club. Thirteen overs gone. Deepraj Kankar is batting on twenty of ten deliveries. Rishabh Singh Chauhan is on two of six. Seven overs remaining. Deepraj has struck some fierce blows. Three boundaries and one sixer. Two boundaries and one sixer so far in Deep Raj's innings. And they need many more of those in the remaining seven overs for sure. Vikas Singh, meanwhile, continues from the Mandavi River end. 
RSC gets the single of the very first ball and the Dupraj is on strike now. The captain on a mission for Karimabad. That's the longest part of the boundary. Uh, but just a single there. Good looking shot by Alessi. for that Tempo have generally been good in the field Five runs of that over from Vikas Singh and 14 overs are over now. 80 for 6 is what Karima Bad Sports Club have managed so far. This is the final of Bandodkar T20 League at Panjim Jimkana. The seventh wicket partnership is now worth 24 and it has to be a lot more for Karima Bad Sports Club to put out a fighting total in this final. Azim Kazi bowling his third over from the road end now and two runs to Rishabh Singh Chauhan and Karima Bad Sports Club of this first delivery of 15th over. What a shot, but once again. Karima Bad batters are unable to clear the boundary and who else would you have on the boundary rope to get the catch? It's Vikas Singh again. Takes his fourth catch of the final. 
Azim Kazi gets his second wicket. Rishabh Singh Chauhan goes back after scoring eight runs of 13 balls. The partnership comes to an end on 24. For seven now, Karimabad Sports Club. It's been a sad story so far. Nipraj Kaukardu is holding strong. The captain is out there on a mission. He's on 21 of 11. He needs to get some support at the other end though. And that's been a problem for Karimabad Sports Club. They have been striking well but that's not good enough to clear the boundaries and Dampu's catching has been good in the outfield Vikas Singh a man in particular has now taken four catches Vedant Naik is the new man and on strike now Vedant is off the mark. Deep Raj facing Azim Kasi. This is the last delivery of the 15th over. With that single, the score moves on to 84. Azim Kasi finishes a successful over. He has taken three wickets, giving away 18 runs in his three overs so far. Vikas Singh to come on to bowl his final over of the quota of four. He has picked up a wicket and given away just 16 runs in his first three. Five overs remaining in, the f in this innings of Karimabad. Loud appeal and Captain Deepraj Kankar has been Declared out LBW, Vikas Singh gets the big wicket, 84 for 8 now Karimabad Sports Club and in grave danger of being bowled out. Dampo 
fielders, bowling department, they will be very happy with the efforts so far, but this is still 15 overs old match. A lot more is there to be played and cricket being the game of glorious uncertainties, nothing can be taken for granted here. But so far the situation is dampers, they have been on top right from the word go. Because Singh has caught well and is also bowling well. Lakmesh Paune is the new batter, is on strike. The pace bowler Lakmesh Paune now with the bat in his hand. That's the end of the 16th over. Karimabad Sports Club uh, 86 for 8. Divyang Hinganekar is back in the attack. He will begin the 17th over of the inning from the road end.
Good looking shot there. Four runs for that. That's a good, important boundary for Karimabad Sports Club from the bat of Vedant Naik. That's what they need. Good shot on the rise as well. Not a half volley by any means. And Vedan Naik timed it to really good effect, getting that important boundary. The Reddit. The last delivery of the 17th over coming up. Karimabad Sports Club are 91 for 8. Lakmesh Pawni now on strike. One run to end the over. 92 for 8. Three overs to go. 18 legal deliveries if they can get a run a ball they'll get into triple digits Karimabad Sports Club will score exactly 110 rather but the projected score at this current run rate is 108 Azim Kazi, slow left arm bowler, coming on to bowl his final over. He has 3 for 18 impressive figures so far in this match. That's good running by Karimabad batters, two runs to the total. Lakmesh moves on to four. This time bowler Azim Kazi does the job in the field as well and prevents the second run from being taken. A similar shot from Lakmesh. And last time he had managed to get two for that. Vedant Naik is now on strike. Karimabad Sports Club are 95 for 8.
That's up in the air. What a shot there by Lakmesh Pawnee Sixer. And that's bring, that brings a 100 up for Karimabad Sports Club as well. The total moves on to 102 for 8. Really good strike by Lakmesh Pawnee. He moves on to 11. With that single, the 18th over comes to an end. Karim Abad uh, moved on to 103 for 8. Two overs remaining in the final match of the Bandutka T20 League. Lakmesh Pauni and Vedant Naik here trying to get as many as possible. Divyang Hinganekar will come on to bowl the last over of his quota of four and the penultimate over of the Karimabad innings. Eleven runs came off that last over by Azim Kazi that allowed Karimabad Sports Club to get into triple digits and now with the two overs remaining they will hope and try to get as many as possible to make it a fighting total in this all-important final Two runs of the first two deliveries so far in this over. That's good from the point of Karimabad Sports Club that they are making each delivery count. Lakmesh on strike. He's on 13 of 11.
Vedant Naik batting on 11 of 13. Five runs have come off this over so far. And that dot ball ends over number 19. 108 for 8. Karimabad Sports Club had won the toss and opted to bat first. But the inning was rocked regularly as the wickets went down. The scoring suffered and that's what the situation has been. It's 108 runs on the board going into the final over of the inning with eight wickets gone. The batters will have to go for big shots. This is the now the final over of their inning. Harshad Kadekar, the experienced pro coming on to bowl is last over as well. He has considered 19 runs in his previous three. A wide to start the final over of the inning that that is also the first extra of this bowling performance by Dempo very disciplined indeed they have kept it on stumps all the time in general and in that offside zone. Two runs taken and the total moves on to 111. Lakmesh Pauni and Vedant Naik accumulating important runs in what is said to be a low scoring affair here. misses that delivery completely. Lakmesh Pawne not happy with himself. He has hit one big shot in his inning so far. That was a lovely sixer of Azim Kazi. Once again, he has no clue there. Arshad Gadekar is experienced and is getting the ball to bounce off a very good length where the batter is not going to get an easy shot to play. Lakmesh will have to do something to get the bat on the ball here. This time he gets a lot of it onto the ball and that's boundary. A fantastic shot by Lakmesh Pawne. Very well timed and placed to perfection. Over the bowler's head, straight as an arrow. 115 now, Karimabad Sports Club and Lakmesh Pawne goes on to 20 of 16. Gets a single that will bring Vedant Naik on strike for the final delivery of this inning.
Vedant Naik tries to go big, but in the man only manages to get a run and he's run out. Coming for the second. A run short also has been declared by the umpire. That means no, no run can be added from that last delivery. It's a dot ball. So Karimabad Sports Club's inning has come to an end on 116. They also lose the wicket via run out. So 116 for 9. That's what Karimabad Sports Club have managed after winning the toss and batting first and have a look at the scorecard captain deepraj gaukar was the top scorer with 22 runs of 13 deliveries and lakmesh paune at the fag end with 21 not out also got some important runs that apart Three other batters got into double figures but failed to kick on and as a result the inning has been reduced to 116 for 9 in the allotted 20 overs for Karimabad Sports Club in this final of the Bandurka T20 League. Dampo bowlers were on the top here throughout this inning. Azim Kazi was the pick of the bowlers with three wickets for 29 to his name. Vikas Singh, the standout performer as far as the fielding is concerned with four catches to his name, also picked up two wickets, giving away 18 runs, two big wickets for Vikas Singh, who got the better of Tunish Saukar and Deepraj Gaukar, both the big fishes in Karimabad Sports Club lineup. Jagdish Patil also got two wickets for 19. And Divyang Hinganekar bowled his four overs, giving away 19 runs and picking up a wicket. The wickets fell regularly for Karimabad Sports Club. With the first wicket going down at 12 being the total and then it was a regular feature to see the Karimabad batters walking in and out like a procession. The highest partnership was at the ninth wicket of 32 runs between Lakmesh Paune and Vedant Naik. And that's the story so far as Karimabad Sports Club opting to bat first have put out a less than runner ball total of 116 for 9. And Dampo Cricket Club will be chasing the target of 117 to win the Bandurka T20 League title.
ऐसे और भी वीडियोस के लिए चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करो और बेल आइकन को दबाना बिल्कुल मत भूलो ऐसे और भी वीडियोस के लिए चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करो और बेल आइकन को दबाना बिल्कुल मत भूलो ऐसे और भी वीडियोस के लिए चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करो और बेल आइकन को दबाना बिल्कुल मत भूलो Welcome back to the grand occasion of the finale of Bandurka T20 League. Hundred and seventeen is the target to win. The Bandurka T20 title and Dampo Cricket Club openers Snehal Kautankar, the skipper, is at the striker's end, and on the non-striker's end is Mukul Kasana. And to begin the attack for Karima Bad Sports Club is Rishab Chobe. Snail off the mark with that confident shot, guiding the ball to the third man boundary for a single. Mukul Kasana doing the same thing and also gets off the mark. Earlier today, batting first on winning the toss, Karimabad Sports Club only managed to put a total of 116 for 9. That is an asking rate of under run a ball and Tempo are in the pursuit now. Rishabh Chaube is in the third spot in the bowling 
leaderboard with six wickets to his name. That's a fine shot by Snail Kautankar. He guides that ball to the point boundary for four runs. Rishabh offers the width outside the off stump and Snail doing the rest. Easy pickings there for the experienced Ranji Trophy pro for Goa, the captain for Goa and the Dempo skipper as well. Six runs is now the total with five deliveries gone in the opening over. This time he shuffles on to his off stump and guides the ball on the onside for a single to end the over seven for no loss. Snail goes on to six. Mukul Kasana is on one. Ishan Gadekar is at the top of the tree in the batting leaderboard with 139 runs. Tunish Saukar on 138 remains in the second position. This is now the final. And it looks like the batting leaderboard could remain unchanged. Whereas in the bowlers, wicket takers list, there's still possibility of changes. In the meanwhile, it's Lakmesh Pauni to begin the bowling attack from the Mandavi River end. Mukul Kasana is at the non strikers end. Snail Kautankar is on strike, batting on six. What a delivery to start with by Lakmesh Pawne. And that took the outside edge of Snail's bat. Lucky for him, there was no slip in position. And he gets a run. It's better to see a slip coming into position now. And with so little runs to play with, that should have been there from the first ball itself. But better late than never. Lakmesh Pawne has the ability to get maximum purchase with his with his good bowling action. Leg by, signaled by umpire Sujay Netravarkar, takes the total on to nine without loss. Dempo came through a very, very tough battle 
in the semi-final yesterday. And here they are chasing a very modest target. Both openers in there and nine for no loss with the second over in progress. Whereas in the semi-finals yesterday, they lost two wickets in the opening over itself. Bowled by Felix Alema of Chaukule. Fine shot by Snail. No stopping that. The tempo skipper started in a very confident fashion today. Two boundaries for him and he moves on to 11 of 9. Tempo are 13 for no loss after two overs. What a delivery there. A lot of effort being put into every delivery here. Karim Abad Sports Club need that from their bowlers. That was a good land delivery and the bounce that it got on the way to the keeper is very impressive. Rajshikar Harikant collecting at his chest height. Rishabh Singh Chauhan bagged a Pfeiffer in the semi-final against Saragankar Cricket Club yesterday. The left arm pacer needs to make early impact here if Karimabad Sports Club have to get a foothold in this final. That's better from Mukul Kasana getting a single. Dempo Cricket Club can afford some dot deliveries and that allows the batters to have a good look at this wicket and the bounce of the track. Play and a miss here for Snail. Rishabh got excited. And there, that's what they have to be put into that energy and get the breakthroughs because not a big total to defend. Earlier the impact than better it is for the side defending. Oh, some misunderstanding in the running between the wickets and Snail got back in time. Although not many runs to chase, but the pressure of the final is something that the players have to cope up with. This is the third over in progress. Tempo Cricket Club are 14 for no loss. Two deliveries to go in this Rishabh Chaube over.
That's the end of the third over. It's 15 for no loss. Dempo Cricket Club are chasing a target of 117. Sneal Kautankar, the captain, is batting on 12. Mukul Kasana is on 2. Deep Raj Gaukar, the captain of Karimabad Sports Club, is now coming on to bowl from the Mandavi River end. His counterpart, Snail, is on strike. And Snail gets a boundary of the very first delivery of Deepraj. Deepraj not happy there with the effort in the field as the ball crosses the boundary line and the fielder not able to put in a dive. They have to be desperate and get maximum effort to go into the fielding. Because that's how they can protect the runs and make the target bigger than it is. Third boundary for Snail Kautankar. Big appeal, but umpire is unmoved. But then the overthrows allow two leg buys to be added to the total of tempo. That was not what was required. Two runs given away in terms of freebies there. What a shot by Mukul Kasana, square driven for a boundary. That's his first boundary as well. Tempo Cricket Club move on to 26 for no loss. Mukul Kasana up to six now of seven deliveries. Twenty seven for no loss tempo. It's been a good start 
for Dempo Cricket Club so far. Rishabh is coming on for his third over. He has looked dangerous so far, but not lethal in terms of getting the ball to get the better of the bat so far but yes he has the ability and the pace to shock the batters this is now the fifth over of the inning Dampo are 27 for no loss Kul Kassana gets the single moving on to seven moving on to eight rather this will work out fine for Dempo getting ones and twos and odd boundary Karim Abad will require to get early wickets and put more pressure on Dempo Cricket Club to defend a total of 116. That's good running between the wickets there. Mukul Kasana gets two and gets into double digits. He has grown into confidence after getting stuck yesterday earlier in the semis but then he went on to play some fantastic shots, three sixers in his inning yesterday a knock of 42 proved valuable for Dempo Cricket Club as they mounted that counter-attack later on and today he has looked more confident than what he was yesterday while starting the inning at the other end, Captain Sneel Kautankar batting on 18 in his authoritative batting style as we know him. So Tempo moving on to 32 for no loss in 4.4 overs. Another wide signal by Santosh Kovekar. Rishabh Chaube trying to get in more effort and straying in the direction. Shot, up is shot, but safe in the power play. Four runs to Mukul.
37 Dempo That's well played and the dot ball ends the fifth over Dempo Cricket Club move on to 37 for no loss requiring a further 80 runs in 90 balls to win the trophy. Two dot balls to start the sixth and final over of the power play stage. Get a single snail will move on to nineteen. Mukul Kasana is now on strike with 14 of 14 balls. That's very good exhibition of running between the wickets. Good as understanding between the tempo openers. And that's also the right strategy to keep the scoreboard ticking and not allow any pressure to play on them. Two deliveries remain in this sixth over of the inning Snehal got a leading edge the bat but safe for him it went up and over the point fielder couple of runs Forty one for no loss, Dempo Cricket Club. So dot ball to end the sixth over.
change in bowling attack from the road and it's going to be Rishabh Singh Chauhan slow left arm spinner Mukul Kasana batting on 15 is on strike Forty-two for no loss. Dempo Cricket Club in pursuit of the target of 117. Neil Kautankar pulling that shot to the mid wicket fence for a sixer. What a shot! A classy right hander there. The ball was there in the zone for that shot, and Snail does the rest. 48 is the total now on board for Dempo Cricket Club. Snell moves on to 27 of 22. It was a short delivery by Rishabh, Rishabh Singh Chauhan and Snail Kautankar doesn't need second invitation. Karimabad spinner Rishabh will have to be tight with his length here. That's what they need as they protect this defender target of 117. That's better. Karimabad cannot afford the big shots to be going for the Empo Cricket Club on regularity. And that's what has happened. With Dempo moving on to 49 of 6.3. Dempo Cricket Club bring their 50 up in the seventh over and without any loss. So that's a very solid start for Dempo. The opening duo of Snail and Mukul doing the job so far. That's what Dempo need now. Common sense cricket. 
They are in full control here. Seven overs gone. Tempo Cricket Club 52 for no loss. 65 runs required in 78 balls to lift the Bandodkar T20 League trophy. Vedant Naik, off spinner, is brought into attack from the Mandavi River end. Mukul Kasana is on strike, is batting on 18. That's a good looking shot by Mukul, and the placement as well looks good. Although a neat job on the boundary by the fielder prevents it. Going for four, two runs to Mukul and Dempo. Nice shot, Mukul Kasana wanting to clear the fence, but uh, it's two runs as the fielder covers the ground well and the boundary in the long on region is protected. Nevertheless, two runs uh, to the total for Dempo and Mukul who goes on to 22. Tempo are scoring at a run rate of 7.15 and the asking rate is just around 5. Placed comfortably right now. This time Mukul plays the sweep uppishly but oh the fielder there makes a hash of it. Not going for the catch neither protecting the runs well so in the end Mukul gets two for it and he goes on to 24 that also brings the eighth over to an end Dempo Cricket Club are 58 for no loss fifty nine runs required in seventy two balls that's the required run rate even lesser than five runs per over. So it has been so far a very, very dominating performance by Dempo Cricket Club. And unless Karima Bad Sports Club take wickets quickly, it will be difficult for them to get into this game 
It's the final of Mandotkar T20 League. Snail Kotankar. He has been playing very, very well so far today. The delivery is there in the zone for him to hit. He has gone after them and done very well. That was once again his favored onside where he gets his maximum runs. Good timing today. Snail Kautankar looking very good. The score moves on to 63. This is the ninth over in progress. Snail Kautankar batting on 34. And Mukul Kasana is on 25. It doesn't look like they are facing any challenge at the moment. Dampo Cricket Club openers are dictating the terms. Mukul Kasana there. Trying to play that sweep shot and a loud appeal by RSC. Looked close, but there was bat involved, and that's a single for Mukul Kasana. Neil gets boundary in the third man region and that takes him to 38. Nine overs gone. Tempo Cricket Club a 70 for no. 47 runs needed in 66 balls. players getting a bit of refreshment there it's hot out there a very bright summer day here in Panji Goa Vedant Naik is back to bowl his second over. Mukul Kasana doesn't mind sweeping upishly and that's safe for him as far as this shot was concerned and gets a single. 
So the total goes on to 71. And Dempo are inching towards the target without much resistance here. That's the situation here in the final at Panjim Jimkana ground. Can Karimabad Sports Club conjure something that will deal some setback to Dempo or the Dempo team will canter home? That's the question here in everybody's mind. Seventy-three for no loss. At the end of ten overs, the halfway stage of this inning, Dampo well and truly in a commanding position. Just forty-four runs required in the remaining ten overs, and all the wickets intact for Prashant Kakode's Dampo Cricket Club boys. Prashant Kakode is the coach for Dampo. Neil Kautankar, the captain, batting on 40 out there in the center, and Mukul Kasana, his opening partner, is on 28. Sachin Mishra is the bowler coming on from the DB Road end. Good line straight away by Sachin Mishra. Snehal guides it to the third man region for a single. In fact, a thick outside edge of his bat. And it goes through the vacant slip region for a single. Oh, that's Snail Kautankar was on strike and he has been given LBW. Sachin Mishra gets the breakthrough for Karimabad. Finally, Karima, Karimabad have the wicket. Snail has had shuffled across his off stump and missed the delivery. And that was Plum. Dempo lose their first wicket. Snail Kautankar out. LBW bowled Sachin Mishra for 40 of 30 balls. And the partnership is broken at the score of 74. Keenan Vaz is the new batter for Dempo Cricket Club. Five boundaries and one sixer studied Snail Kautankar's 30 ball inning. 
40 runs was what Dempo skipper scored and that solid partnership with Mukul Kasana has given Dem Dempo a very, very fine start. But now it's over to Keenan Vaz who will take strike. This is the 11th over in progress and Dempo require 43 runs in 58 balls to win this tournament. Keenan Vaz is off the mark straight away. And if he gets going, this match will be over in no time. He plays aggressively, regardless of the situation. Four runs considered by Sachin Mishra so far in the over. One, one ball to go in this over. He has already picked up the wicket of Snail Kautankar as well. So a successful over comes to an end for Sachin Mishra. Five runs of that over and Dempo move up to 78 for the loss of one wicket. Vedant Naik in his third over and two runs taken off his first delivery by Mukul Kasana. There are wide gaps on the onside and Mukul had a good look around and placed it to perfection to get that couple of runs. That's good fielding by the point fielder that saves at least a couple of runs for his team. Rishabh Chaube, the fielder there.
Vedant Naik in his third over, in his previous two overs, he has considered a total of nine runs. Wickets is what can win the match for Karimabad here. They have to do something special to get wickets in a heap now. If Dempo play out the remaining overs, they'll win comfortably. That's the situation. 7.4 is the run rate right now. 7.04. So Dempo scoring well and above their asking run rate. Keenan Vaz is a very attack-minded batter and he'll keep you interested. He doesn't mind playing the uppy shots. But when he's on song, they race to the boundary. He has a reputation of being a very clean striker of the cricket ball. That's the end of 12 overs. Tempo Cricket Club, 83 for one. And now they are from a sniffing distance from that title glory here at the Bandotkar T20 League. Thirty four runs required in forty eight balls with nine wickets in hand is a situation where the batting team is in commanding position. Mukul Kasana wanted to go big and only manages the top edge. Vedant Naik there taking that catch. There was no need for that shot. But Mukul Kasana was committed to it and went for that across the wicket shot. And that's how Dempo Cricket Club lose their second wicket. 83 for two now. Mukul Kasana is out. Thirty five of thirty nine balls. Two boundaries were part of Mukul Kasana's inning. So both the openers now back in the pavilion, having done a very good job, though. Now it's up to Kinan Vaz and Vikas Singh is the new batter coming out in the center. He will join Kinan Vaz. Vikas Singh had earlier today put in a fantastic performance in the field, taking four catches, effecting a run out, and also taking two big wickets that of Tunish Saukar and Deepraj Gaonkar. So he is now there to do a job with the bat in his hand.
Vikas is at the non-striker's end and Keenan Vaz will be facing Sachin Mishra. That's a cover drive from Keenan Vaz. Just a couple of runs for that. That is how he plays. If the ball is there in his zone, he will unleash his attacking shots. Thirty. 32 runs needed in 45 balls. That single brings Vikas Singh now on strike. Left-hander Vikas Singh is now on strike. Gets off the mark with that uppish uppercut. Single to the total that goes on to 87 for two. That's a fluent drive by Keenan Vaz. Four runs for that. That's the gap picking ability that Keenan has. The bisecting the fielders and getting that four runs between the long on and long off straight to the bowler's head. In fact, four runs. Takes Keenan Vaz on to 10. Dempo Cricket Club who on to 91. Vedant Naik trying different variations and trying to confuse the batters 
and force a mistake. Um, but Keenan was, war, was vigilant, gets a single, and now Vikas Singh is on strike. Twenty three runs required in thirty nine balls. Is there a way back for Karimabad Sports Club? It doesn't look like seeing this situation unfold. And it can be safely said as to it's now a matter of how. Dempo want to complete the job, whether they want to do it cautiously or aggressively. But from the Karimabad Sports Club perspective, whether they still have that belief or not, can they do something special or miraculous here? These are good conditions for batting and Dempo Cricket Club batters have really taken full advantage so far. Good feeling now on the boundary there in the long on region and just a single for Keenan to end the over number 14. 20 runs now needed in the remaining six overs with eight wickets in hand. It's anybody's guess now. as to who is in a winning position here. Dempo Cricket Club closing on the first major title of the season. They were the runners-up in the Panjim Gymkhana Members League. They were the runners-up at the Goa Premier League three days tournament. And now this stage looks like it's Dempo's bit of a slog there by Vikas Singh and missing that delivery totally. Not what they require now.
well bowled sachin mishra genuinely beating the batter vikas singh here that's a very good delivery to the left hander sachin mishra has been the man who has picked up both the wickets to fall here in the dampo inning just a single though as kashyap there does the mopping up Hundred up for Dampo Cricket Club. Hundred for two at the end of fifteen overs. Seventeen runs needed in thirty balls now. change of ends for rishabh chobe the left arm pacer who picked five wickets in the semi finals yesterday against sargaonkar cricket club and that set up the 17 run victory for karimabad but he has gone wicketless so far in the big final today this is now his opportunity he is also third in the wicket takers list with six wickets in the, to his name Sixteen runs, more twenty-eight balls is the equation in Dampo's favour. Short pitch delivery and Vikas Singh gets a single of that bouncer. by rishab chobe this is his last over of the quota of 4 and he has considered 21 runs so far that's a good stop of his own bowling rishab chobe the outstation player for Karimabad Sports Club
four runs. Vikas Singh gets a well-timed shot in there. That takes the total to 107 and also gets Vikas Singh his first boundary. He moves on to 10. So 16 overs gone. Dempo need just 10 runs in 24 balls. This has proved to be a fascinating tournament as far as Dempo is concerned. They have had to battle it out in the league phase as well as in the semi-finals. And today it has all come to a very dominating performance. The team has raised its level in the final and are now just 10 runs away from lifting that glittering trophy of Bandodka T20 League. Oh, that's uh, leading edge of the bat of Keenan Waz. And it's taken by Rishabh Singh Chauhan. Third wicket for Sachin Mishra. And Dempo also now lose their third wicket. It's 107 for three. Keenan Waz out for 17. Yogesh Kautankar is the number five batter for Dempo Cricket Club. But he is at the non striker's end. Vikas Singh on 10 is on strike now.
by singled by the umpire Sachin Mishra angling that ball across the left hander so now the required runs down to single digit 9 runs needed in 21 balls Yogesh Kautankar is off the mark with a nice drive. Yogesh is the younger brother of Dempo captain Snail Kautankar. Nice shot by Vikas Singh and it's four down the point boundary. Five runs needed now for Dempo Cricket Club. In fact, four runs are required for Dempo to lift the Bandodkar T20 League trophy. That's the end of the 17th over. Dempo Cricket Club 113 for 3. Vikas Singh is batting on 14. Yogesh Kautankar is on 1. One shot away, Dempo Cricket Club. Or will they take more than that to reach the victory target? Four runs required in 17 balls. Yogesh Kautankar is on strike to Rishabh Singh Chauhan. He'll get a single for that. Three runs needed because Singh, the man on strike now.
two runs in 14 balls. Tempo. So close now. The scores are level. What a team performance it has been for Dempo in this tournament. They have gone through various situations. They have been on the brink and back and how. There you go. Dempo Cricket Club are the champions of the Bandodka T20 League. Fantastic performance and a seven wicket victory here today in the final against Karimabad Sports Club. A dominating performance by Dempo Cricket Club, captained by Sneel Kautankar and coached by Prashant Kakode. Well done, Dempo. Congratulations and hard luck, Karimabad Sports Club. They just couldn't make it their best when it was required the most. And Dempo Cricket Club get the target of 117 with two overs to spare. Snail Kautankar top scored with 40 runs of his bat in 30 deliveries, five boundaries and one sixer in his inning. Mukul Kasana came good once again. 35 runs was his contribution of 39 balls with two boundaries in his inning. And then Vikas Singh remaining unbeaten on 19 and finishing the task. After Keenan was uh, it played an entertaining knock of 17 runs. So there you are, 120 for three. Dempo Cricket Club winning the title. As far as Karimabad bowling performance is concerned, Sachin Mishra was the only wicket taker, taking all three wickets to fall, giving away 21 runs from his four overs. So that's it from the final day here at the Panjim Gymkhana ground, Dempo Cricket Club. Going all the way in this tournament organized by the Panjim Gymkhana. And the men in blue are the champions of Bandurka T20 League. The prize distribution function of the final is coming up soon. Stay tuned.
हेलो Welcome back, everybody. What a final we have witnessed! It has been a dominating performance uh, by the Dempo Cricket Club, and they have been crowned the champions of the Bandotkar T20 League, organized by the Panjim Jimkhana. Congratulations to Dempo Cricket Club, and hard luck for Karimabad Sports Club. It did not happen for you today. Better luck next time. To begin the presentation ceremony here. I would like, I would request the chief guest, Sri Samir Kakodkar, to come up in the presentation area. Welcome, sir. I would also like to uh, request uh, Rajesh Khote to present the bouquet to Samir Kakodkar, Chetan Desai, member of Panjim Dimkhana and the ex-GCA president is also here. We welcome you, sir. And the joint treasurer of Panjim Dimkhana, Sri Narahar Thakur, is also here. So I'd like to also request all committee members of Panjim Dimkhana to come up in the presentation area. So we're all set for the presentation. And to begin, I would request Sri Samir Kakotkar to say a few words. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, first of all, thanks to the teams for uh, playing a fantastic finals. Uh, and the entire tournament was, uh, I hear, very keenly contested. And all the games were decided in the final stages. So, congratulations to all the teams and to Benjamin Jimkana for holding one more uh, fantastic edition of the Bandulkar T20. Uh, hats off to the management. Uh, President Manoj Kakulo and uh, Sri Rajesh Kaute for the excellent facilities they are giving to us and changing the face of cricket in Goa. Okay, uh, we are uh, looking forward to many, many, many more tournaments okay, to be held in Panjim Gana. Thank you so much. Congratulations again to the winners. Prashant Kakuri, the coach of Dengpo Cricket Club and also managing committee member of Panjim Jim Gana is also here and so is uh, Mr. Safra Sheikh here as well. So to begin the presentation ceremony, we start with the award of the best batsman. And that's Tunish Saukar of Karimabad Sports Club. If he's here, Tunish Saukar, you can come up to receive your award as the best batsman of the Bandotkar T20 League. He played a stunning knock of 99 runs in that chase of a total of 190 against Alcon MCC and what a knock it proved to be. How much we would have loved it if he had been able to do a similar job today but it didn't happen for him today. Well played Tunish and may you be successful in the future tournaments as well for Goa and Karimabad. Next is the best bowler award and it's Dempo Cricket Club's Azim Kazi. The left arm orthodox slow bowler Azim Kazi. Taking seven wickets and bowling economically as well. Very, very important contribution from Azim Kazi, the outstation player for Dempo Cricket Club, being adjudicated the best bowler. Now comes the award for the man of the final and it's Vikas Singh who was probably the man of the match on his fielding performance. Four catches in the field and catches win matches. Dempo Cricket Club's cornerstone of this success in the final was their catching and of course his two wickets that uh, was very important contribution as well. He took the wickets of Tunish and Dipraj Gaukar. So there is man of the final Vikas Singh. And the last one of the of the of the of the afternoon, sorry, is man of the series, and that is Ivan Hinonekar of Dempo Cricket Club. He has been a fantastic all-rounder for Dempo. He was the man of the match twice in their winning performances earlier in this tournament, 
and rightly so today he has been adjudicated as the man of the series. Well played, Dingyang and Dampo Cricket Club as well for the fantastic performance. Now I'd like to call up the runners-up team, Karimabad Sports Club, the captain Deepraj Kaukar and his teammates, coach Naresh Parsikar as well to come up and receive the runners-up trophy and the prize amount. We also have Tanmay Koika here, the managing committee member of Panjim Jimkara joining us. This is Karimabad Sports Club, the runners-up of the Bandurka T20 League. They have they played really good cricket in the earlier part of the tournament, but today they could not deliver, and that's part and parcel of the game. Well played, Karimabad, and thank you for the good entertainment that you provided earlier in the tournament. Good luck going forward to Deepraj Gaukar, a talented all-rounder for Goa. And now it's the major moment of the afternoon, and that's the giving away uh, the award of the winner's trophy, and that is Dempo Cricket Clubs to lift their first major success of the season. They were the runners-up in the PGML, that, the, that was the members' team. They were the runners-up in the Goa Premier League, organized by GCA. Now they are the winners of the Bandurka T20 League. Snail Kautankar, the captain, is here to receive the trophy and the cash prize of 75000 for Dempo Cricket Club's dominating victory in the final of the Bandurka T20 League organized by Panjim Jimkana. Well played, Jampo. And if I may ask the team to come up for the team photograph in a moment or so, the team can come up for this photo op. So I request the team members of Tempo Cricket Club to come up for this team photograph along with the dignitaries in the presentation party here. And that's it. We wrap up the presentation ceremony with this. Thank you and have a good day.